हेलो एवरी वन नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट इज बेस्ड ऑन द फाइल हैंडलिंग बिफोर गोइंग इन टू डिटेल ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट वट इज द फाइल हैंडलिंग एंड वट आर द पॉइंट आर इंक्लूडेड इन द फाइल हैंडलिंग सो वट इज द फाइल हैंडलिंग सो फाइल हैंडलिंग इन जावा इम्प्लाइज द रीडिंग फ्रॉम एंड राइटिंग डेटा टू अ फाइल and we can perform the file handling in java by java io api the file class from the java.io package allows us to work with the different formats of the file and the java.io package is very important package because it supports the java's basic io that is input output system uh, including file operations so why we need the file why there is a requirement for the file handling Uh, so when variables and arrays are used to store the data in a program it has some problems like data is lost when the variable goes out of its scope or when the program terminates so meaning that the storage is temporary and it is difficult to handle the large volume of data using variables and the arrays so the above problem can be solved by the string data on the secondary storage such as the floppy disk or hard disks by using the concept of the files so data stored on the files is called the permanent or the persistent data so in a such a way that we can say that data storing and the data management using the files is known as the file processing so what are the different operations required for the file handling so the file operations in java are uh, create file get a file information write to a file and read from a file so first create a file create a file uh, operation is used to create a new file and second uh, you can create a new file by using the create new file method the second operation is get file information this uh, operation is used uh, to get the different file information like um, getting the name of the file absolute path of that file and display whether the file is writable or not and display whether the file is readable or not and also returning the length of that file so all such information we can get uh, by using this get file information operation then write to a file by using this um, uh, we can write some text into the file next operation is a read file to read the contents of the text file a read file operation is used next the stream the stream concept is very important in the file handling because java uses uh, because stream is a sequence of the data and java uses this concept of the stream to make the input output operations on the file now in the stream uh, there are the types of the stream there uh, so there are basically two types of the stream are there uh, first is a byte stream and next is the character stream now what is the byte stream byte stream mainly uh, uh, related with the byte data okay and byte stream is used in the files for reading and writing the bytes when an input is provided and executed with byte data then it is uh, we can call the file handling process with the byte stream so there are the mainly two classes are used in the byte stream file output stream and file uh, file uh, input stream so these are the two classes top classes which are the abstract classes we will discuss later next there is a byte stream classes so there are the classes are input stream classes and the output stream classes so input stream classes uh, are used uh, to uh, operate the input related functions and it is an abstract class that defines how data is received next class of the byte stream class is output stream class so it can be used for uh, performing all the output operations of the file next there is a second type of the stream is the character stream now the character stream is a stream uh, which is related with the characters the processing of the input data with the character is called the file handling process with the character stream so character stream provides a way to handle the character oriented input output operations so there are also the two classes top classes reader class and writer class so reader classes are designed 
to read the character from the files and the writer classes are to uh, use to perform all output operations the files related to the character so there is a difference between the byte stream and character stream is that uh, byte stream is related to the byte operations and character stream is related to the character uh, input output operations next then we can see the examples of the file handling uh, see here first uh, uh, we have to create one file okay and by using that file uh, created file we can uh, we can perform uh, different uh, operations like read uh, read from uh, write uh, to the file read from that file okay so there is first example of our file handling stream is the create file so see here in this example there is a class which is a fh create file so in that create file there is a main method and there is a try block is there so here the file class is the inbuilt class of the file handling and that uh, my obj object is uh, used to create a new file that is uh, the path of that file is the d and name of that file is the text test test and uh, by using this object of this file class we can create a new new file by using the method create new file okay then in this con if the condition is true then file will be created and we can get the name of that file by using this object of the file else the system um, message will be displayed that file already exist and there is a catch block is there if the error is occurred then after running this file you can see the output here so uh, file created see here the message is file created and we can get here the name of that file that is test test that test dot txt next file output stream file output stream this is a, a class of the byte stream and uh, here the file output stream it is the class of the output stream so here uh, uh, created one class that file output stream example and in the main method the file output stream class is the inbuilt class and uh, the file uh, object of that class is created f out and the there is a location of that test file here a path of that file and uh, by using this object of this file output stream here i am writing the 65 byte data to that file okay because by using this write method we can write the byte data to a file then if the condition is uh, if the successful return then message will be displayed that successfully wrote byte data to a file and this is the catch block for catching the errors okay after running this see here successfully wrote byte data to a file now for checking if the data is actually written or not see here in the d in the d drive there is a test.txt method uh, file is created by using the create new file and here the output of our byte data is the a that is ascii value of that uh, 65 is written here a so this file output stream is used to create the to write the uh, byte data to the file now our next example is file input stream okay the file input stream class is used to read to read the in, uh, reading for byte oriented data so in other words we can say that it obtains the input bytes from a file and it is used for reading the byte oriented data so whatever we uh, we uh, wrote in the test dot uh, text file that we can read that data by using the file input stream class so i have created one class file input stream example and in the main method this class here this is the inbuilt class of the file that is file input stream and i have created one object f in and uh, by using that file uh, object the read method is there okay by using this read method we can read the whatever the data is written to that file uh, next there is the system.out.print there is character is reading 
by using this file out uh, input stream and here the f uh, by using this object we can close this file after then this file you can see the output that a so whatever the data is written in that file test.txt that read in by using the file input stream class next the file writer class the file writer example so here file writer uh, class it is used to write the character oriented data to a file and it is character oriented class which is used for the file handling in java so in this example we are writing the data in the file that is test.txt using the java file writer class so here i have created the class file writer example and there is in the main method and the file writer it is the inbuilt class so i have created one object fw here and uh, path uh, location of that uh, file here is here and by using the write method of the class file writer uh, i am writing the data i am writing the characters to a, a file uh, named test.txt okay so then see here after running a run file I successfully wrote that data to a file and uh, this here f dot trial method is there this uh, uh, string welcome to the world of java is wrote or successfully returned to the file that test dot txt now check it in the d drive this is the test dot txt and see here this is the string that is character welcome to world of java okay next next example of our uh, uh stream class is the file reader class so here the file reader class is used to read the data from the file and it is used to read the character oriented data and it is a character oriented class which is used for the file handling in java so here i have created the class file reader example and in the main method this is a file reader it is an inbuilt class and fr is the object of that class i have created then by using that object i am reading the data whatever the data i am writing by using the file writer class so here after running this file you can see the output here so see here the output is the welcome to world of java which already i have, I have written to the file test.txt okay thank you